Pakistan has extended the ban on Indian aircraft from using its airspace until 23rd September. Ongoing repairs have not restored Pakistan Air Force's Rahim Yar Khan Air Base, as Pakistan has extended its snow dam, keeping the runway offline until at least the 29th of August. After heavy losses from Indian missile strikes, Pakistani terror group JEM has launched a 3.91 billion rupees fundraising campaign in Pakistan, disguised as a plan to build 300 mosques. JSW Group has formed a joint venture with US-based Tomcar to indigenize manufacture assemble and provide full life cycle support for the TX range of all train vehicles at its Chandigarh facility that will be offered to the armed forces. India and China have decided to start delimiting less contentious stretches of the border as a step toward permanent demarcation. China has cloned the American Sikorsky's S-97 Raider high-speed helicopter. In a major development, the Aeronautical Development Agency has begun issuing work orders for structural assemblies of the first AMCA prototype, which is a major step from design to manufacturing. It also confirms movement towards a prototype rollout in 2027. Former Trump National Security Advisor John Bolton has said that Donald Trump is not fit to be the president. Uh, so that people can understand that what's happening at the very top level is not reflective of what the rest of the country thinks. And uh, it's not uh, much consolation, but uh, but Trump does this all the time. And uh, and uh, that's that's one reason I don't think he's fit to be president. But but it, it's happened. And I think the, uh, the, uh, the, the potential now is what Prime Minister Modi should look to do is wait for the right moment uh, to take Trump aside very privately and say, uh, we've got to fix this. Russian Foreign Minister has announced that India and Russia are exploring joint energy projects in Russia's Far East and Arctic, and this announcement comes at a time when Washington is wary of India's deeper role in Russian Arctic and Far East energy projects. The head of the Russian embassy in India Roman Babushkin has said that Russia has activated a special mechanism to counter US punitive measures against India's Russian oil imports. He also expressed that Russia is interested to collaborate on India's new Shudo Sun Chakra air defense shield. Hyderabad-based Astra Microwave Products has developed a prototype of handheld ground-penetrating radar for paramilitary forces. The Indian Air Force is planning to procure 50 additional Airbus C-295M transport aircraft, taking the total to 106 units. The former chief of the Indian Air Force retired Air Marshal RKS Baduriel has said that the Indian Air Force should have prioritized Tejas Mark II over the new 62,000 crore rupees order for 97 Tejas Mark IA fighter jets planned to be delivered completely by 2032, as the Mark II is far more future ready. The Indian Air Force is modernizing its command and control network by introducing AI-based decision support tools for its air battle managers that will enhance situational awareness, streamline the kill chain, and reduce cognitive load by processing real-time data from radars or wax satellites and sensors. The DRDO has developed Nirvana software, which is India's first indigenous radar cross-section prediction software that will enable accurate simulation of aircraft drones missiles and warships radar signatures, helping optimize stealth shaping materials and radar absorbent materials. Dassault Aviation is preparing to offer an enhanced Trafil 4.1 variant incorporating next-generation ACER radar system with greater range and improved electronic warfare resilience, AI-driven cockpit upgrades, and integration of next-gen standoff weapons optimized for high-altitude warfare. If accepted, India would become the first air force to field the upgraded Rafale 4.1, gaining a decisive technological edge in the region, while reinforcing its strategic partnership with France. The DRDO and the Indian Air Force are co-developing an advanced ground-based jammer modeled on Russia's Krasuka system, that will be mounted on a mobile wheeled platform for rapid deployment along the LOC and LAC. The indigenous S-Pan jammer will target wax from long ranges of over 300 kilometers, while also disrupting global navigation satellite system. The jammer will create a powerful denial zone, that will deceive radars, block communications, and force a wax to retreat. Today's Top 3 Comments
Oh, Mark, dropped it.